Old granddad finally showing its age. 16 years old is almost old enough to drink. Maybe you can drive a car or get laid. <laughs> Do they have cars? They didn't have cars at his age. <laughs> There's a horse drawn carriage. All right, we're back. Uh, we got this old granddad 16 at the Beam Distillery over the weekend. We were in Kentucky for a few days doing some barrel picks with Oasis Liquors down in Falcon, Colorado. Shout out to Chris and the team. Picked some great barrels, but we're here today to review the bottle we just picked up. Old granddad 16, man, we've been waiting a minute for this one to come out. We were just lucky enough to be in the area when they dropped it. Yeah, that's pure shit house. Man. It was. Or, I mean, yes. I was there a couple of hours before the distillery opened, but I literally found out the day before that they were dropping it. So it was definitely fun, man. Uh, waiting out in a tropical depression, sideways rain blowing underneath the awnings at Jim Beam. Things we do for brown water, I tell you. 16 and still childproof. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Every bottle's childproof for you, dude. It is. <laughs> and put the little zipper on it. He wants a zipper. For his corks, just so you know, a some, zipper. Some of them have the little zipper. <laughs> Look at that. Unwrapping this. There we go. We ready for this? Oh, oh yeah. That's nice. still has that big fat knobby cork on it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it in the glass, man. I can't wait to get a nose on this one. Big fan, old granddad, high rye mash bill. Really, really delicious, thick notes on the 114. Hoping that this is just an improved and higher age stated version of that for the most part. It's only 100 proof. I mean, they proofed it down a little bit, but at 16 years, hopefully they found a sweet spot for it, and that's when it ended up in the jug. And according to Jim Beam, it's uh, featuring that distinctive classic old granddad flavor. I can't wait to get my nose on these nuts. <laughs> You ain't gonna ever hear him say that again. <laughs> Ooh. Unless they're cashews. Mm. Oh man. That is robust. Sweet, delicate, nutty. Well, yeah, I am getting that nutty. Yep. It's it's a bean profile. Like a sweet peanut. Uh yeah, I'm I'm there's a little spice on there too. Almost I'd hate to say it, but like a like a spicy peanut brittle. It's got that real dark orange amber. Yeah, it's beautiful color. Not super rich or deep in the color, but just a really nice, yeah, like an amber, like the one you find the mosquito stuff. Get beautiful legs. Mm -hmm. Some nice legs for an old man. <laughs> Something we had that discussion before. <laughs> you didn't like my legs. <laughs> yeah, that's just oh. Mm. I'm I'm getting some other notes on there. I'm starting to dig for give, give us like some air for a second. I'm, get, I'm getting peaches, like a peach cobbler style. But you know. there is a roasted note on this. I'm just trying to get to what I think it. Yes. I don't want to sound silly, but it's almost like ginger, like roasted ginger. Um, I would know. I have no clue. What that smells <laughs> you don't like. eat healthy stuff, so <laughs> the only roasted ginger I know is when people make fun of me. <laughs> So you get your daily intake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all right. You get this one in the mouth. Yeah, this is oh, smells delicious. Lord. Have at it. Cheers, Cheers. everyone. Oh yeah! Wow, sweet, very oaky, and smooth, but smooth oak, like a smooth yeah. oak, not that real kick in the dick. Oak. Oh man, a certain earthiness to it, but not in like the not like an, a rye kind of earthiness. It's more like an more like an earthy peanut kind of. Oh, this is this is delicious, man. Almost like the peanut shell when you suck the salt off of it. Like at a Texas Roadhouse when you get the yeah, bucket of peanuts and yep. But yeah. with with an added layer of sweetness on there, like like a dark toffee almost. Oh, what was that? This smells vintage, man. I know it's a new release, but uh, this is very, very nice. They definitely want to go for that classic flavor. Yeah, it's got that classic, which is considered vintage of sort. Sure. If I want to be prim and proper. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, BS. I don't think there's much primer proper about you, bro. <laughs> hey, it takes a while to get this good. <laughs> Print. Jump out of bed and brush it. And the mouthfeel on that's real nice. Yeah, it's this. A part of me wishes they had kept it a slightly higher proof. Um, it's not thin at all. It's still got a nice mouthfeel, about medium mouthfeel. I, I would tend to mid high, but no, more of a medium mouthfeel. I definitely get a lot of that orange marm. It's a marmalade. It's marmalade. Yeah. Is, is it that like the the jelly? Yeah, pretty much. Preserves. Orange peel and jelly. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. To go with Maybe the orange that, label. That's maybe. probably where some of the ginger is coming in because, you know, I've had marmalades that have ginger flavor in them. And this is kind of what this is leaning towards. Yeah, I'm not a cook, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't even think you cook, period. I know how to push the buttons on the microwave. <laughs> I cook Swanson <laughs> and uh, Hungry Man. Hungry Man. <laughs> uh, He's not lying. <laughs> uh, oh. Marie Callender, she cooked in my house a lot too. And she's a good cook. She just needs to learn how to make bigger pours. You know, this is about whiskey, not food, right? <laughs> you smell stuff in food? You smell stuff in whiskey? I don't think there's any hungry man sense in this one, dude. <laughs> I smell mashed potatoes with gravy. Here he goes. Some green on. beans and some fried chicken. <laughs> Oh man! So, to uh, two twelve at the door at the distillery. I don't know what the shelf price is going to be once it makes it out to the shelf. But for two twelve, special release, something that you know, if you're a Beam fan, or an old Granddad fan, this is something that you want to get your hands on, man. I don't think it's going to be plentiful where you'll be able to just go get it whenever you want. So, talk to your liquor store people and uh, keep your eyes on the shelf. Try and snag you one of these old granddad 16s because uh, his juice has marinated quite well over the years. Yes, it has. Right in that sweaty pocket. Mm. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's good shit. That's good shit.